Hi everyone, today I want to show you some of the best drawing apps you can use on an Android tablet. This video is going to be quite long because I'm going to go through the pros and cons for the apps featured. If you just want to know what are the apps I think are best on Android, it's this five, Clip Studio, Concepts, Midibank Paint, Sketchbook and Huion Sketch in no particular order because each app here has their own workflow and caters to a specific style of art. If you want to save time, you can check out the text review that I have already written with all the list of pros and cons written. If you have more time, you can watch this video. These are some of the many drawing apps available from the Google Play Store. I'm just going to show you the five that I use most often and also the apps which I think offer a good set of features and tools. Now in this video, I'm going to focus on the apps that work best on a big display on a tablet because some of the user interface for the apps were actually designed with large displays in mind. So for example, we have Clip Studio Paint. You can have many palettes on the side here. This takes up a lot of space and you still have a good amount of canvas space to work with. I will talk about Android apps that work better on smaller displays or on phones in a separate video. Before I start recommending you apps, I want to talk about stylus support. The drawing experience you can expect will depend a lot on the stylus that you use. If you don't already have an Android tablet and you have the intention to buy one, make sure you buy a tablet that comes with a stylus or at least make sure that the company that is selling the tablet advertises stylus support so that you can buy a stylus later on. With proper stylus support, you can get pressure sensitivity where you can vary the thickness of the line depending on the pressure you apply. You can also get palm rejection, which means if you place your palm on a display and you draw, you will not introduce any straight strokes. And if you draw with your finger, you will also not introduce any straight strokes. In this case, I can only draw with the pen. I cannot draw with my finger or with my palm. And with certain styluses or pens, they may also have tilt sensitivity support so you can draw thin lines by holding the pen more vertically and when you tilt the pen at an angle you can draw broad strokes and most of the time you can have tilt and pressure work together at the same time all tablets will work with stylus so you can actually get a rubber tip stylus or this tip stylus to draw with However, a rubber tip stylus or this tip stylus like this don't have pressure sensitivity. So you cannot vary the line thickness and also they don't provide palm rejection. So when you place your palm on the display to draw, you are going to introduce straight strokes. You will only get the best drawing experience with tablets that mention specifically support for active stylus, um, those with tilt and pressure sensitivity and palm rejection. The first app I want to show you is Clip Studio Paint. This app has been around since 2001 on the desktop. In recent years, it has been ported over to the iPad and now it's also available on Android. So the tablet version of Clip Studio Paint is the same as the desktop version in terms of the feature set and the tools you get. So this is actually one of the best, if not the best drawing and illustration app on Android. There are many tools available, as you can see from this long list of drop down menu and these are tools as well. There are many different brushes you can choose and you can also download brushes from other sources and install onto the app. There are layers uh, with a lot of different functionality. This is an app that is used by professionals as well as hobbies. So you can create really high resolution professional illustrations on this app and this app is available on Windows, Mac OS, iPad and Android. 
So the files that you create here can actually be stored online, stored on their cloud server, which I'm going to show you here. So all these files are actually backed up on their cloud server. If for some reason your tablet crashes or you lose your tablet, all these files will still be available for you, which is also to say that um, any file, any art that you create on the tablet, um, you can use it with other computers. You can work on the files later on. If you want to work with other apps, you can also choose to export the art into other file formats. There are a lot of different file formats you can export from Clip Studio Paint. If you want to open the Clip Studio file in Photoshop, just export the file into Photoshop format. If you want to share your file or art online, on Instagram, Facebook, anywhere else, you can export the file as JPEG or PNG. This app has a lot of features and it's very versatile and the overall drawing experience is very responsive, very fluid. It works great with finger gestures. You can zoom in and out and rotate and the overall response when it comes to drawing is very responsive. So my overall experience with this app is very positive. And this app can handle very high resolution files, um, A4, A3, A2, and 300 dpi, no problems at all. Of course, um, how big your file is before it starts to lag will depend a lot on the amount of RAM that you have on your tablet. I cannot tell you the maximum number of layers you can expect with this app because that depends on the amount of RAM you have. All I can say is you can use a lot of layers. One of the killer features for Clip Studio Paint compared to other apps is it has support for keyboard shortcuts. So you get to use all the keyboard shortcuts as if you're using Clip Studio on the desktop. That to me really improves my productivity significantly. Clip Studio Paint is not free. The tablet version uses subscription-based uh, pricing. And if you happen to have the desktop version of Clip Studio Paint where you just pay like a one-time payment, that license is not applicable for the tablet version, so you have to buy a separate license. At the time of making this video, they have license for one device, two devices, and four devices. If you just want to get the license for one device for a year, it's around 25 US dollars which works out to be around two US dollars per month. Um, that, in my opinion, is really worth the money for the features and tools you get with Clip Studio Paint. Personally, for me, I use four devices, Android, iPad, Mac OS, and Windows. So I pay around $4.50 each month, and I also get 10 gigs of online storage. The next app I want to show you is Medibank Paint Pro. Medibank Paint has been around since 2014. This app is the direct competitor to Clip Studio Paint, so the feature set and the tools you get with Medibank Paint is quite similar to Clip Studio, but Clip Studio has more features and more tools. So Medibank Paint is free to use, um, but they also have subscription model where you get more tools and more online storage. I'm using the free version, which uh, is good enough for me. I have five gigs of online storage. So the good thing about Medibank Paint is um, it's free to use if you are just using the basic drawing tools. Medibank Paint has online storage, so you don't have to worry about losing your files. Medibank Paint is available on Mac OS, Windows, and iPads. So you can open any file from the cloud storage on any device that can run Medibank Paint. So that is incredibly convenient. The desktop version of Medibank Paint has more features compared to the tablet version. So this is one area where Clip Studio Paint is better because with Clip Studio Paint, the tablet and the desktop version, they have the same feature set. Having said that, you still get a lot of features on the tablet version of Minibank. There is still the layers palette, and there are a lot of brushes you can choose. And if you need more brushes, you can go online to 
download all those brushes this is a very long list of brushes and you can create really professional looking art with this app as well the downside for this app is there is noticeably more latency compared to other drawing apps that i have used so when you're drawing you can see the gap between the line as it tries to catch up with the pen tip but thankfully this is not the irritating type of latency and it doesn't affect the accuracy of my work when you compare this app to Clip Studio Paint, Clip Studio is better simply because Clip Studio offers more features. The tablet version of Medibank Paint is just a scaled down version of the desktop app, but it's still a really capable drawing app. You can definitely create professional art with this app. If you want to draw comics, go with Clip Studio or Midibank Paint because they have a lot of comic drawing features. For example, with Midibank Paint, this tool allows you to draw comic panels very easily. And there are a lot of comic page templates with Midibank Paint and Clip Studio. Next, I want to show you concepts. So this is my favorite drawing app on Android as well as on iPad or on any tablet. This app is available on Android, iPad and Windows. So as you can see, I have created a lot of art with this app. Now this app is unusual in the sense that this is a vector drawing app, which means all these uh, lines, the colors that you see, um, all these are actually based on mathematical formulas. So you can actually zoom in all the way and the art will still retain its sharpness. So you can zoom out, you can see the screen redraws, but um, even the iPad will redraw the screen like that. The thing about this app is it has textured brushes as well so you can create all these textures and you can create very clean shapes like this so you can use shapes to draw or you can use textured brushes to draw they have a good set of brushes this is a freemium app so the basic drawing tools are free to use however if you want more brushes uh, if you want more features you actually have to pay to unlock them so these are some brushes that i have paid for it's a one-time purchase but they have a lot of brush sets so i actually spent quite a lot overall it's really worth the money to buy those tools because it's a one-time purchase and you also get to support the developer who will improve the app all the apps that i mentioned in this video are updated quite frequently and you can use this app to create really detailed illustrations as well so for example with this uh, sketch this took me around two hours to draw on location and because this is a vector illustration app you can zoom in like really up close you can even write the book title for the books that are stacked on this shelf right in the background i really enjoy using this app because the user interface is very well designed it's a very simple and clean user interface it's very easy to use you don't have to learn all those uh, commands uh, shortcuts and functions um, this app is all about the tools and all the files that you see here uh, these are all backed up online more specifically backed up on google drive concepts is available on windows mac os and on android however the files are only interchangeable for android and windows if you use the ipad version of concepts um, you won't be able to open the files that are on windows or android Another thing to note about um, the file format is when it comes to exporting files, many of these file formats are actually locked behind a paywall. So you have to pay for a one-time purchase to unlock them. This app also has a subscription model. The difference between the subscription model and the one-time purchases um, is 
With subscription model, you get access to all the tools, but you have to pay monthly or yearly. But with the one-time purchase, you have to buy all the tools individually, but you get to keep the tools forever. If you want to try concepts, I highly recommend you buy the Essentials set, which will give you access to unlimited number of layers. And also you get to export in more file formats like PNG, PSD, and the native concepts file format. One fun thing about this app is because all the visuals that you see are mathematical formulas, you can actually make changes very easily. So for example, if I want to change the color of this vehicle, I can just select the blue color and change it to a different color. If I don't like the smooth line art, I can select the line art and change it to pencil lines. And I can adjust the thickness of the pencil lines. So that is one really cool thing about this app. And this is an infinite canvas, so you can just keep drawing. You will not run out of space. And when you want to export the file, you can just choose your composition. For example, you may want a screenshot like this. You can export it like this. And this app is very responsive. You can use this very easily. It's very fluid to draw. And because the canvas is infinite, you can choose you, you can choose to export your file in whatever resolution you want. The only limitation is if you choose to export the files in like extremely high DPI, 1000 DPI and above, uh, the app will crash. This is an app I can recommend very easily, especially if you are into creating very stylized type of art. And this is a sketchbook. This app is available on Windows, Mac OS, Android, and iPad. So this app has a lot of tools. Um, you have a lot of brushes that you can choose from. Um, I mean, this is a huge variety of uh, brushes that you can choose from. Drawing experience is also very fluid because it's very responsive. You also get layers here. Um, you can use the color picker here or the color wheel here to select colors. You can export your files into PSD formats. From what I know, there is no backup for the files which are stored within the app itself. So um, if you lose your tablet, then all your files are gone. So it's best to always export your files out somewhere else safe because they don't have the auto backup feature like the other apps that I've mentioned earlier. I don't use this app often, so I can't really tell you how good this app is. And I certainly cannot tell you what are the downsides. I have seen other artists use this app to create like really wonderful artwork. So in terms of um, drawing capability, this is definitely very capable for drawing or illustration purposes. So um, do check it out. If I remember correctly, it's a one-time purchase. So yeah, it's definitely worth the money. The last app I want to show you is Huion Sketch. This app is created by Huion, the company that sells pen tablets and pen displays. And as you can see, this app is not one that I use very often. I'm showing you this app because it has a good feature set, even though it's not as good compared to all the other apps. However, um, some of these brushes here, they look really nice. You also get to work with layers. And I really like the textured brushes. I think they look really good. So this is a jib that I have drawn using the pencil brush. And the user interface element, re sorry, the user interface design reminds me of Procreate from the iPad. You have the slider controls here to adjust the brush size. Oops. And you have the brushes here, the smudge tool here, the eraser, the layers here. So all these tools, um, they remind me very much of Procreate. 
but obviously you don't get as many um, tools and features compared to Procreate. All right, downsides. The files are stored within the app itself and there is no auto backup feature to the cloud. So if you lose your tablet, all your files are gone. And the file export features, um, I would say they are all right. You can export the file into a layered PSD file so that you can work with Photoshop later on. You can also choose to export the file in the native file format called Huion Sketch. However, at the time of making this video, um, if you have another tablet with Huion Sketch and you want to open the Huion Sketch file that you have saved somewhere, you cannot do so because for some reason there is no uh, file open or file import for Huion Sketch file formats. That's weird. So the only files you can open are the files that you have already created and the files that are already in the gallery. Huion Sketch is free, so definitely go check it out. And the user interface for Huion Sketch works really well on an Android phone. And these are the other drawing apps available on Android. Um, I don't really use them, but you can test them out if you want to. Which app is the best will really come down to your personal preference and the type of art that you create. Personally, for me, I like to create stylized um, art, so I like concepts. If you are into drawing comics, um, you draw very detailed illustrations, you are into the painterly style, or you just like the traditional look, I recommend you go with Clip Studio Paint or Medibank Paint because um, they have a lot of features and they offer online backup because um, when it comes to creating professional work, you cannot afford to lose your work. Do you use any of these apps? If so, let me know what you think about them. Let me know what you like or dislike about them. And let me know what are some of the features that you really love, but I did not mention in this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.